Discord channel permissions consist of a red tick, a neutral and a green tick. Now the Discord permissions are also set up that the red tick and the green tick always override the neutral, but then the green tick always overrides the red tick regardless of the hierarchy of the roles. Welcome to Jürgen's domain of great games and guides, showing you exactly how to set up your Discord permissions, your channel permissions, and your category permissions, so that all of this is not an issue for you. Now back to the Discord permissions, where I will show you how to set up your server role permissions, your category role permissions, and your channel role permissions, in such a way that you do not have to set up server permissions and server roles in every single channel of your server. I do want to give a very big shout out to Jay from my server in figuring this out and actually teaching me how to do this and subsequently teaching all of you guys how to do that. So thank you very much, Jay. Now, the most important part to do is to go to your server settings and then go to roles and set your role permissions. All of these role permissions over here needs to be set equivalent to what you want this very specific role to do. So you'll see for everyone, muted and self roles, I have got everything selected as disabled. For enable streamers, I have not got the retext channels enabled, but I have got the other privileges that I want them to do, like connect, speak, deafen members and so forth. I've selected that. And the reason I did not select the retext channels is because I've got levels in my roles. So level one, two and three will automatically get those roles inherited. Then following that is your mods, your bots and your admin. Remember for admin, you only need to select the administrator icon. It automatically inherits everything. Please come to my Discord server. Links are in the description below. And remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more video contents like this. You can also run the exclamation perms command and that will give you a detailed instructions on how to set this up in your server. So there is a benefit to join. Now this makes life very, very easy because if you go to your category permissions, edit category, go to permissions, you'll see that I only specified the everyone role and everything is inherited. Now the reason for that and even on the general permission, everyone inherited. So when we have all our roles set up on a server level, then the category automatically inherits everything from the server level. And then the channel automatically inherits everything from the category. So in this case, the general will see that for everybody, Go all the way up to the server permissions, look at the roles that they have, and then apply the yes tick, no tick, and neutral overrides as you have seen it. This means that if you have a member with multiple roles, which all assign the same permission, but with different overrides, the overrides will be taken from the hierarchy point of view of Neutral is always overwritten by the red tick and the green tick always overrides the red tick. So green tick wins. That's basically what it comes down to. Monthly giveaways in my Discord server for both Couchbot as well as Dinobot Premium. So come check that out. And also be sure to have a look at all the other Discord content I have on muting and permissions and so forth. And then finally, you might actually want to go to Patreon as well. Maybe not, but I would appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Till next time, Jochen out.